Thanks for choosing Forecast Pro. This short video is a jumping off point. We'll start with an overview of Forecast Pro, a broad tour of the interface, and a quick introduction to loading in some of your data. Then we'll wrap up by pointing you in the direction of some resources. Forecast Pro is a standalone desktop application and can be downloaded and installed through a simple click-through install. The data flow is simple. Pull in your data, generate and manage forecasts, and then export the forecast results. The interface is similar to Microsoft Office. Starting the application greets you with the home screen, where you can start new forecasting projects or open existing ones. We'll open an existing tutorial project first. The core of the program is organized into three main parts. A navigator, where you can move around your data and select items. Ribbon menus to access operations, views, and reports, and a workspace to see information. Many buttons on the ribbon menus will open up views in your workspace. You can have as many of these open at a time as you want, and furthermore, you can resize, drag, and tile them however you wish. As we click through items on the navigator, many of these views, such as the graph, will update and sync to whichever item or group we are selecting. To get started with our own data, we'll need to read some in first. Let's go back to the home screen and start a new Forecast Pro project. This gives us a blank slate. We can manage the data for this project by clicking on the Data Manager. Though you have a lot of options here, the only data you have to read in is the first one, Historic Data. Notice that we can read data from Excel or CSV files or directly from a database via ODBC. If I choose an Excel file, I can simply click Read and Forecast, and once read, I can close the box and see my data, forecasts, and my hierarchy. Regardless of whether you want to use Excel, CSV, or ODBC, the data formats are generally consistent. The first columns will represent your hierarchy. You can use as many columns as you need to represent any attributes, with the leftmost being the top, and the rightmost being the bottom. Just like we saw in Forecast Pro a moment ago, this example has total, category, customer, and SKU. This is followed by a required description field, which must be labeled exactly description. Then we have some calendar information, including periods per year, and finally, our data. Note that we can read our data in rows, in which case we will define the start year and period for each row, or transactionally, in which case these columns define the year and period of the data point. Once again, we read the data by starting a new project, selecting the data manager, choosing our file, and then clicking read and forecast. This will automatically generate all forecasts using Forecast Pro's expert selection system. There are many ways we can manipulate the forecasts, but for now, if we simply want to save the results, we can preview and export using the numeric output here on the Reports tab. This report can be designed via its settings in the hamburger menu, and when ready, we can go to the Export tab to save it out of Forecast Pro. Note that we can also simply right-click most reports in Forecast Pro and choose Save This Page to Excel. Forecast Pro ships with a variety of free resources. First, in the Help menu, you can access comprehensive documentation. The tutorials include written guides and video content organized into lessons on the various functionalities in Forecast Pro. The reference guide documents virtually every control in the program, and finally, the statistical reference guide provides full detail on the implemented statistical methodology in Forecast Pro. The software also ships with a variety of sample data and ready-made Forecast Pro projects. These install to the following public directory on your machine. If you want to simply explore the sample data, you can quickly and easily either load in some of these sample data files or go to File Open and start up some sample projects, as we did earlier. You can also simply contact us for help. Just email us at support at forecastpro.com or give us a call, and we are happy to answer questions and help out however we can. As a next step, we strongly recommend continuing with the tutorials available in the help menu. See you there.